You I'm still never heard a friggin' word I said, did you? I'm gonna leave. Never understood one friggin' word, did you? I don't understand anything you're saying. You're talking like you got something in your mouth, bro. What is Jesus, boy? That's how I speak all the friggin' time, boy. Yeah, dude, I, I just don't understand, man. There's something wrong with your voice. There's nothing wrong with me, boys. Why is how I freaking grow up? You're making fun of me with me roots, or what? Uh, what? I've always spoke like this. What are you making fun of me roots, or what? Uh, sure. You can, uh, you can get gas after me. You're making yeah, fun of me yeah, freaking roots, is you? I see how it is, my son. I'm telling you, I'm going to watch out. I'm going to read your plate there now. What is it? Let's see what it is, boy. I. T. Oh, Jesus, I can't freaking read that. I've never, I never graduated grade 12, boy. Sorry, okay, grade 8. You have, you have a good day. Boy, to Jesus, you're some freaking rude, you is. You better watch yourself, my buddy. Watch yourself now, ready? <laughs> oh, is that groupie guy? You lap light and fricker boy, get out of move on, buddy! Don't need to be so mean, bro. What is this, boy? You don't need to pull out a freaking gun, boy. What? Officer, officer! No, this. I'm watching you. Why are you the gun on me? What's he following me for? What the frick is the problem, boy? What's the frickin' problem, boy? What? What are you following your me problem, for? Man? You're barfing at me. I'm not following you. Boy, it sure seems like it. I ain't trying to frickin' mess with you. I'm just trying to be an upstanding I'm just citizen. Driving, man. Have you got any money? No, boy, I haven't got no money. Oh, no! What the fuck, man? Bring up! He's the mouse is pissing me off. Slash 911, uh, <coughs> stop it and get point. Uh, 911, okay. Channel switched. Microphone activated. You were moved. 911, what is the address of your emergency? But it is, I'm, I'm getting followed and assaulted by a freaking car. Buddy in a car, he's driving a freaking Mitsubishi, a red one, and he's shooting guns at me, boy. He keeps following me around, I can't get rid of him. He's shooting at me, van and everything. I didn't do nothing to him. Okay, sir, uh, where are you currently? I'm, I'm lingering around the yellow jack. I don't want to stop because I don't want to be shot by. Okay, what kind of vehicle are they in? Oh, uh, they're in a red uh, Mitsubishi Lancer, I think. Can you repeat that, please? A red 
Mitsubishi Lancer. Okay, do you by chance have a license plate? I do not have a license plate, but they're saying, hey, boy, they got a, a red car, it's all red. Red lights, red underglow, red everything. Okay, and there's you're you currently around nine four nine, correct? Around Yellow Jack? Yep, I'm just making laps around nine four nine and he, he keeps following me. I can't get rid of him. Okay, and you said they shot at you? They did shoot a gun at me. They pointed it at me and then they started shooting and I ran to get away before he shot me. He's going down Route sixty eight there now, boy. Alright, what kind of gun was it? I don't know, boy, it was a pistol of some sorts. I'm following them to now down uh, West uh, West uh, Route 68. He pulled off the side of the road, there, then. Okay, and what kind of vehicle are, vehicle are you in? I'm in a green Dodge Caravan, boy. He's following me again, boy. All right, uh, you, and you say you don't have a license plate on their vehicle? I don't have a license plate, no, my son. Alright, and what's uh, your license plate? Uh, my license plate is N E W F I E. Alright, and your name? My name is Billy Bobby, boy. Mine is the boy. It's Billy Bobby. Billy Bobby, okay. I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna will... linger around the Route 68 area. Route 68, kind of around Yellow Jack as well? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll have officers on the way as soon as we can to get to you, okay? All right, my buddy, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm free for my leave. All right, we'll get to you soon, okay? If anything else changes, just give us a call back at 911, okay? All right, my buddy. All right, thank you for your call. Thank you. I appreciate it. Jesus Christ. What do you want, boy? That's the guy right there. He following me around. Where are they going? He's following. Okay, he's following you around? Yes, he keeps following me around and he shot at me there earlier. He shot at you? Okay. Yep, he shot at me and hit my van. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll go talk with him. I'll just stay here, okay? Okay. Why do I know that truck? And that car. Oh, I knew that was awesome. What are you doing? I oh, right, that's who it is. Hey boys! Okay. He does a going tonight, boy. I just want to let you know, I can't really hear you right now, but uh, I just want to let you know there's a, a fella in a red Mitsubishi Lancer, and uh, he's armed and he's dangerous, he's, and he's got some road rage, it seems like. What was it now? Yes, boy, I pulled up to the gas station down there by, the, by Flywheels. I was trying to get some gas. I, had, I never did get my gas because a fella pulled a freaking gun on me. For no freaking oh. reason, boy. Oh. Huh, that's not good. This boy thinks he's new to the town, boy. Yeah, maybe. Them new fellas, boy, they're right trigger happy. I guess I'm too stupid. Huh, no, I hear you. 
Yeah. And here goes the freaking group six guy again. Oh, Jesus, that group six guy again. I yeah. suppose he's gonna search me truck again. What was that driving that we saw? Are we gonna talk about that? What driving? When you went around that car off road coming here. I think do Hey, buddy, you gonna search me freaking van again or what? What's that? You gonna search me van again or what? Might as well. But it's easy. You searched it last night, didn't you? Or was that another group of basic fella? My God, boy. Oh. I'm searching for anything illegal. There's nothing illegal there, boy. You want to open up your doors? No, sir. I do not need to comply to you. I'm not complying to the likes of you, boy. You don't need to search my vehicle at all, boy. How's it going, officer? Hey, all right, so we got his side of the story. He said that you followed him around. Boy, that's not true. Okay. I, was at the well, I was at the gas station. I'll tell you everything there now. I was at the gas station there by flywheels. I was trying to get some gas. Anyways, he was blocking off the freaking pumps, and I was like, boy, can you move up? And he wouldn't move. Anyways, he proceeded to pull the gun out at me, so I got in my van, and then he backed up, hit the front end of her a little bit, just tapped her, not no hard hit or nothing now, just tapped her, so I don't think there's any real damage there. Anyways, mm -hmm. I took off then, after he pulled the gun on me, and he started shooting the gun, I'm sure it hit the van, he might have hit the road or something, he might not have very good aim. Anyways, I started driving around, and the fellow kept following me, I kept taking these specific turns. I went up the road there, turned around, come through the yellow jack parking lot. I just kept doing circles, and the fella keep following me. And then, I drove down 68 a little ways, and I turned around, come back. I parked right here, and sure enough, when he pulled in there, that's when you fellas were right. Okay. Alright, well, unfortunately right now, it's a little bit of he said, she said, without any proof on either or. Uh, we'll write the reports on different sides. You can take them to civil court, though, if you want for the damages. Um, but I would advise just staying away from him. I told him to stay away from you. Yes, boy. Uh, I, was any... I was trying to stay away from him, but he kept following me. Yeah. Well, I told him to stop. Uh, if there's any more issues tonight, then we can do some more about it. But as of right now, there's not much we can do. I'm just trying to be a good, upstanding citizen, boy. Yeah. Uh, no, I completely understand, sir. Uh, if he continues to follow you, <laughs> uh, definitely call 911 again, and then we'll come out and we'll... Talk with him again, okay? Oh, well, you're damn right. I'll call back if he follows me. I don't want to be shot tonight. I'm just trying to yeah. enjoy my evening, you know, just cruising around oh, yeah. and having a chat with yeah. people. Yeah, no problem, sir. I understand. Is there a reason you're that security guard is just taking a look at all your stuff over I, there? I don't know, boy. I was there there yesterday, and the feller, same feller, started looking for me, man. He was like, I think you got drugs. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I got no freaking drugs, boy. I said, okay. I'm not giving you no consent. And he just okay. keeps looking. Can I help you? What's the problem? Uh, you're looking underneath this guy's van. It's kind of suspicious. Hey, he was acting suspicious yesterday, and he's acting suspicious today. So you just searched his vehicle? Oh, my Jesus, boy. Yep. That, does that seem legal in any way? Yep. No, excuse me, I'll go again. <laughs> nope. Uh, sir, actually, no, you're not going anywhere. Gonna... Why not? Nope, you're not. Because I need to talk without your vehicle. I have no <laughs> idea. Okay. Oh, boy, Jesus, look at that thing there. Oh, what's an engine in that? How's it going, sir? Say what? Look at the engine in that thing, boy. Coming right into the friggin' hood. That frigger, boy, frigger, follow me around. Watch out for that guy in the red car. Don't serve him at all. He got a frickin' gunner and he's fighting, boy. Uh, well, I'll see what he does later, but that's a uh, wide block Hemi V8 with a blower intake. Oh, my buddy, that's wicked, boy. You build that from scratch or what? 700 horsepower, give or take. Mind if I go in and have a look around in there? 
Eh, you can take a look. I don't mind. All right, me buddy. I appreciate it, boy. Ooh, buddy. What a rig, boy. Look at yeah, that slicks on there. Look. Wreck in the junkyard, and then I took it from there. Oh, wow, boy. Got her all pretty yes, again. Boy, did well, I say you do, boy? Look how shiny she is. That frigger's gonna call me friggin' hard. Frig off, boy! Get the frig away from it! Get away, boy! Frig off! Uh, no, Jesus, no. boy! Frig off! Get get Put away! Damn it, boy! Ugh. Oh, my, my friggin' side, boy! You alright, sir? Oh! Stay still, I'll call 911. Oh my god, I'm... I'm friggin' telling you about that guy, the friggin' maniac! No, I understand now. I will trespass from the property. I already called the friggin' cops on the friggin' once! Oh, me side boy! Alright, I'm oh. calling the police. Just give me a second. Oh, 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 the friggin' heart. I had to friggin' do something, but I knew he was going for my tires. I seen him running there. Yeah, I had my gun out before he stabbed you, and, well, uh, lucky for him, I didn't get a shot on him because I got hollow points in this gun. He's a friggin' arsehole, boy. I'd say he's one of them new fellas in town, boy, and he's just friggin' friggin' happy, boy. Say what about Trigger Happy? No, I say he's one of them new fellas in town. And I'd say he's Trigger Happy. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my god, by me friggin' side. Well, it looks like I'm not doing what I wanted with Billy Bobby. Oh, someone answered the phone. I have a safe kit in my truck. I'll be right back. Alright, bye. I'm gonna play it off that I can be bandaged up. So I wanna keep playing Billy Bobby. Wasn't even open five minutes. No, but I'm telling you. I wouldn't need. I call me right. I call me from home. Oh, I hold on, I got it. I got nine one one on the phone. You're Say right. again. One zero two zero at the flywheels. I'm a mechanic, and some guy in a shirt just ran up, started kicking this green minivan, and pulled his knife he, out. He, he and the stabbed red the guy, easy. and I shot at him. So yeah, I'd let the police know I'm armed. But I only shot at he, him when he started stabbing this guy. He drives a red Mitsubishi. I didn't shoot him. I shot at him. All my shots missed. Uh, the stabber, no, but I have a person down from a stab wound. It all happened so fast. I... Uh, some... A t-shirt and jeans or sweatpants, I know. It's not a very good description. Who oh, knows who it is? He drives a freaking Mitsubishi. He, he did have dark hair, that I know. Like, spiky dark hair. Uh, he went around the back of the building, and I haven't seen him since. Oh, my side. Yeah, that's this. Uh, affirmative, thank you. Okay, well.
meu Deus. Oh, no, All right, the is. police and the medical should be on the way shortly. All right, my buddy. I know who the friggin' is, too, boy. It's that goddamn frigger that drugs the friggin' red Mitsubishi. I don't know what the frigger did with him, but Lord Jesus, I guess I turned him the wrong friggin' way. Now, this might hurt a bit, but I'm going to put pressure on oh. the wound just to keep it from bleeding as much. Oh, I know it hurts, buddy, but it'll, hurt, it might save your life. Oh, my buddy, that friggin' burns, boy. Oh. Yeah. Really don't have much other than gauze, I'm sorry. I don't I don't think it was too deep. Well, I, I don't know. I'm not a medical expert quite as much as I used to be, but... <laughs> There's just a truck up on the rock. A little further there, Chase. Is that LEO or another Civ? LEO. County 310, I'm on scene. And would you please roll medics to 1020 uh, Panorama? Oh, sir. Yeah, this is a uh, guy on the ground is the one who was stabbed. I was uh, I literally just that. caught on shift and things are already going south. Yeah, but hold on real fast. I'm okay. I'm all conscious and everything. It just hurts a lot, boy. Yeah, I know, but with blood loss, that can change. And especially if he could have hit anything, you know, like an organ or whatever. I hope he never got nothing to do crazy. Go for flywheel towing. Buddy over here, uh, what was on the it, second? Right? Okay, 10 4. Yeah, I already uh, pulled some gauze from my first aid kit and packed his wound, put some pressure on it, so. Oh, good on you. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, I don't have anything like morphine or whatever for pain, so... Uh, that... I don't either. It's... Sir, what's your name? My name is Billy Bobby. Your name is Billy Bobby. Hey, Mr. Billy Bobby. Uh, I'm Deputy Ellison with Blaine County Sheriff. So do you know who stabbed you, Mr. Billy Bobby? Who oh, knows exactly who it is, boy. That other officer up there at the Yellow Jack. I called the police earlier, but a red Mitsubishi that was following me, and I have no idea what I friggin' did to him. But I don't know why, but he come up, I, I come over here, right, get some gas. And anyways, I, I was in there talking to the fella there next to me about his car, and I seen him running up with a knife. And I ran out because I knew he was going right for me freaking tires, because he was heading right for me van, boy. And anyways, he ended up stabbing me instead, boy. Oh, my. Uh, d did he have a big wing on the back? It was a red Mitsubishi Lancer, I know that, boy. It was a red one. Uh, what, what are these places here on the ground? Uh, those are from me when he uh, pulled out his knife and stabbed him. I shot at him. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm going to have you fill out a form just uh, so we understand. But uh, did you see anything like a license plate or anything on that car? I personally didn't know. Uh... All I got is a very vague description of the guy. Red new sub. Red new species. No, oh, okay, yeah, I saw like a red one. Say again. Like, it's Mike earlier. Hey guys, what's going on? Subs. Uh, uh, this gentleman here has been stabbed in the side here by someone. Uh, we got some gauze popped, uh, packed into the wound, but uh, that's about the what could do for you. Uh, His name okay. is Billy Bobby. He's uh, talking to me pretty clearly. All right, Billy, can you hear me all right? Oh, yes, boy, I feel all right. I don't think it was a very deep stab wound. I'm feeling all right, boy. Okay. And um, how many times did he stab you? Just the once, do you know? 
Just, just the ones, yes, boy. He come across the road, and like I said to the officer here, boy, he was coming across the road to stab me tire. So I ran out and confronted him, and he stabbed me instead. Okay, no worries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cut the side of your shirt here, and we're going to have to check you to make sure you've got no secondary wounds anywhere. Uh, all just right, give me then. a second to do that, all right? All right. Uh, what can I do for you there? Okay, grab any tools, or are you good? Uh, I think you should be good. I'm just going to get a better free head-to-toe assessment here, and then we'll go from there. All right, I'm going to uh, just do a quick look around here. Okay. Uh, is actually Nufi. One stab wound to the side. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just seeing the one, so that's good. Um, what? How big was the knife the guy used? You know? No, I don't know. Boy, it was a, it was a fairly big knife. I'd say it was what. A Four or five, six inch knife or something like that, boy. Four, five, or six? Yes, boy. Okay. I'm not really sure, boy. It all happened so quick, boy. Okay. No, that's all right. No worries. How do you know? How did you see that? Alrighty. So, let's check this pack in here. Make sure that we're all good on bleeding. Yes, boy. The fellow there running the flywheels, he helped me pretty good. He backed it. You back the wound with some guys. It hurt, but what it is, I'm sure it helped, boy. <laughs> I don't know what that fella's problem was with me, but he just he's out to get me or something. I don't know, boy. I didn't do nothing to him. No worries. Well, the most important thing is you're okay. So let's get you, uh, let's get you all patched up, get you over to hospital, and then we'll go from there, all right? All we'll right, leave the cops buddy. to deal with uh, whatever happened there. Alright, so, so when you went, when you were stabbed, did you instantly fall to the ground, or? Yes, boy, I fell right to the ground. Okay, did you hit your head at all? Uh, no, I don't think I'm too badly bruised or anything. Okay. I, I caught uh, a roll when I fell. Do you remember the entire encounter? So, do you think you're awake for all of it? Oh, boy, I, I, don't, I never passed out or nothing. You didn't pass out. Okay, good. No, no, boy. No, right, we noofies, a... boy. We're strong fellas, boy. Right, absolutely. Let me just check the back of your head. I'm just looking for any uh, any obvious skull injuries, just as a precaution. Um, alrighty. So I'm just going to get some vials on your hair. All right? I'm going to uh, clip this little thing onto your finger. I'm going to put this blood pressure cuff around your arm. It'll go tight. You may have had it before when you've been, you know, at your family doctor or whatever. Oh, yes, uh, it's boy. It's just going to tell me some information about your blood pressure, okay? Yep. Alrighty, let's let the machine get a blood pressure here and then we will try and get you up off this cold floor and get you uh, over to Sandy. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Alrighty, so the main thing is blood pressure is not dropping, so that's good. Your heart rate's a bit fast, but we'd expect that, you know, you've been in a stressful situation. Um, the only other thing I want to check is I'm just going to check because of the lo lo location. I can't speak. Sorry, the location of the wound. I just want to check to make sure it hasn't entered the uh, the pleural space around your lungs. All right. So, just give me one second. I'm just going to put this uh, stethoscope on your chest. I just want you to just take some normal breaths for me, starting off. All right. So, just some normal breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right. And then after two or three of them, I want you to give me some nice deep breaths. So, deep breath in through the nose and slowly out through the mouth. Well, can I stop now? I get right lightheaded with that. You can stop, thank you. Oh, okay, boy. 
Yeah, I should have just said normal for a go or for a stab wound. By the way, thanks for subscribing, uh, Ghostline421 and Bill Lawler. Bill Lawler? Is that how I pronounce it? Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Three dead copies, thank you. Was low on okay. <laughs> Lovely. All right. So lungs are sounding good. Good air entry bilaterally. Uh, looks like it's probably more towards gastro gastrointestinal area. All right. So at the moment, um, how's your pain on the scale of one to ten? One being nothing at all. Ten being the worst pain you've ever had in your entire life. Oh uh, boy, I think it's gonna be a four. I feel all right, but uh, you know what? I've I've been caught a couple of times and stuff. You know, I'm a fisherman, right? So. Caught myself a Did couple of times, got in a line and whatnot, and the friggin', friggin' uh, hooks and all that stuff, and knives filled in fish and stuff, you know, boy? Yeah. Alrighty, what we're going to do is then, I am going to just check that bleeding's still good. Looks like it is. Let's get everything off the stretcher here. It's Matt, yeah. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to slowly move you from a laying position into a sitting position, and I'm going to support you, okay? Right. We're then going to stay in that position there for, for a minute or so just to check you don't feel lightheaded or feel like you're going to pass out. And then from there, we're going to get you up into a sitting position, and we're going to sit you on the uh, on the side of the stretcher here, okay? Alright, then. Alright, so first things first, we're going to slowly you. move you into a sitting position. Myself and the deputy will support you back, so when you're ready, we'll move you to a same position. All right. I'm going to try it or no. Yes, uh, E sit. All righty, perfect. So just stay in that situation. So, so I'm going to hold, have a quick peek at the wound here, make sure nothing changes with this. So now you're in That's that position, do you times. feel any more lightheaded? Do you feel like you're going to pass out? Any increase in pain? Oh, I mean, the pain's a little bit, a little bit more harsh, I suppose, where I moved, but, you know, this is all right. Okay, don't feel like you're going to faint? No, no, don't feel like I'm going to faint at all. I don't think I've Alrighty. ever fainted, actually. Okay, perfect. What we're going to do is then, myself and the deputy, we're going to grab one arm each, and we're going to help you onto this stretcher here, and you can uh, right. go ahead for me and uh, take a seat, all right? All righty, right. so when you're ready, just slowly start heading forward. We'll guide you. All right. All right. I'm ready whenever you was. All right. And let's come up. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Platt, get you over to Sandy Medical, and they're going to obviously have a money to do some scans. Just make sure we're 100% we're sure you haven't hit anything vital, and then we can get you, get you stitched up or get you glued up. All right. All right. Oh, you're pretty there, right? All right. Uh, Deputy, do you need anything further from myself or the uh, I, I, patient? Thank you very much. All right. No worries. <laughs> this is my first, like, real big EMT scene. All right. So, uh... uh now I'm going to need to get another shirt now, boy. Uh, you certainly are, I'm afraid. I don't know what the other fellas... Uh... I don't know what his issue was with me, what his deal was, yeah. I don't know, so hopefully the deputy might be able to get some answers for you. I'm going to close up the back so. doors. I'm going to leave you with the uh, paramedic in the back here, and then uh, we'll be at Sandy Medical in no time, all right? All right, thank you. I appreciate it, boy. All righty. Good fellow, you was. <laughs> <laughs>